Yo, this video ended up going on pretty long. So this is the first part of the preseason. Uh, changing the positions, formation subs, depth chart. I even did a little bit of swagging. Um, I made the schedule. I did everything you do in the preseason except recruiting. I didn't do recruiting here. I'm gonna drop that in a second video a little bit later in part two. Team is shaping up, man. Y'all sit back and enjoy this one. I'ma holler at y'all later. Bye. Dynasty fan. Whoa, oh, what's good, man? What, my name is Flimlo Raps. Welcome back. Rutgers series. We actually starting out number 16, man. It's time to go into the preseason. If you have been rocking with me for a minute, you already know how I attack the preseason. Now, like the majority of the setup stuff, this will be mostly unedited. Probably put the filter in front of the mic. Before we start though, I do wanna say we're gonna be getting a lot more organized going forward in just the way we post these, okay? The way these will be set up um, at this point is season three, so Every week it'll be season three, week one, season three, week two. If it's a bye week, it'll be season three, week three and four. You know what I'm saying? We mostly stuck to that format. We strayed off it a little bit last um, year, but I mean, just as far as, that'll be on the thumbnail, so it's easier to follow this stuff. I do realize that uh, when people try to go back and watch, I thought putting it in a playlist in order was enough, but it, it makes it difficult to follow sometimes. So that's my bad. Going forward, we will fix it. Now, let's jump in. First things first. Y'all already know how I open it up. Red shirts. Red shirts. That is first. We got to decide who are we actually going to be dealing with on the actual roster. Yo, we got these freshman quarterbacks. I'm excited about it. Um, we're going to take a look at that in a second. Let's just go ahead and get these shirts done. All right. So, Stan Carter, man. Stan Carter was... A, uh, an athlete, okay? He was best at this position. We gotta have to shirt him, man. We gotta have to shirt him. I mean, I'm not like upset with shirting him, I just, I worry about him because he's a freshman and Kareem Walker is a sophomore and then Deshaun McCoy is a freshman too. So obviously we're on a two back system, it's gonna be them and then Sneed will be the backup, you know, if somebody gets tired or has to go out, you feel me? What else we got? All right, taking a look at my receivers, man. LaShawn Childs is back. Of course, Brent is back. Okay, we picked up Bo Metley at the end of last season. I got a bunch of young players, so these guys are definitely not gonna play. My question is Bo Metley. I could really redshirt Bo. I mean, I know he's a junior, so it's like, hmm, should I even shirt him? I mean, I just don't think I need him this year. You know, he got a better chance to shirt and maybe uh, he'll get the play going forward, man. But ooh, 85 catch, you got the second best hands on the team. Good spectacle, good catching traffic, great route running. I don't know, Bo might find his way on the field. <clears throat> he really might find his way on the field because Unless I just love one of these freshmen. See, I like their speed. Like, both of the freshmen got good speed. So, that I, I'm a fan of. But at the same time, uh, they both got good hands. 78 and 78. Oh, no, that's Carrie. Sorry. 75 and 76. His spectacle is trash. Webbs is. So, he ain't going to make no plays for you. His catching traffic is not terrible. His route running is 73. Yeah, you know what? Both starting. So, we're going to be starting, I don't know. We'll see, Bo. Give me a second. Deshaun Childs is obviously starting. Brent is obviously starting. And Juwan Harris is obviously starting. These are my three guys. Um, these two specifically, but Childs has the best overall. And he had a decent season last year. He came on late after starting out slow. So, I like him. Now, Loxley, 6'4". Possession guy, let's see. Good acceleration, I like that. Uh, here we go, here we go. 84 catch, mm, it's not bad. His spectacle is so garbage. Like if his spectacle is like an 85 and 6'4", I mean, he'd be like something to deal with, you feel me? Um, catching traffic at 82, he's got good route running. Can't really jump. Um, he's gonna get a shot though. 
he'll get a shot. You feel me? Uh, I'm going to put him. We're going to have to fix this in formation subs, basically. So, Bo Medley, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and shirt him. We're going to go ahead and shirt him. I don't need more than four guys. You feel me? Because we're basically, we're really a running offense. I don't need five receivers. You know what I'm saying? That's beastly. I really don't. <clears throat> I can just put my tight end out there. All right, all these young linemen are gonna shirt. Not that 52 overall guy though. Hell with him. Uh, who else we got in? Okay, we got a Junior, who's trash. But you know, we'll keep him around just in case we need him. Why not? He's already here. We'll shirt him. Why not? He's already here, even though he sucks. All right. Oh man. So we got Blasson and Wharton back. Uh, my two freshmen that we just brought in. Okay. Well, we brought in last year and we shirted them. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. Uh, we got to decide. We'll decide all that on the uh, depth chart, though. We haven't made it there yet. All right, man. Here we go. So, Ronnie James. Why didn't I move him to linebacker? He probably can't tackle. 78 tackle? I don't know why I didn't move him to linebacker. I'm tripping. Who's my middle linebacker? Oh, that's why. <laughs> that would be why. Okay. So we got him, and we move Wheeler over here to Strong. And he's also going to play a lot of nickel. So the depth chart and the formation subs is really what's going to tie everything together. Y'all will see in a second. Let's actually go ahead and do that. Um, Let's go ahead and knock that out. Remember, John Reed is going to be our starter. I just need to look at his throwing stuff one more time so I can remember. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he can throw. Yeah, he can throw. Royal um, got 95 accuracy, but you see the 86 speed and the 91 excel, and you already know what the deal is. We got to run that option, baby. We got to run that option. Got Kareem and Deshaun. Uh... Tight end right there. Okay. Loxley, you're not getting in Brent's spot. You can get that up. You're also not getting in Harris' spot. You can get that up, too. So, he's going to technically be fourth on the depth chart, but y'all will see what we do in formation stuff. So, he'll have an opportunity to move up and prove himself. Um, man, my line looks good. Our ends look pretty good. The tackles look good. Oh, wait. I wanted to look. Cause then I have a fast end, yeah, that left end, Loomer. Loomer, 91 speed. You're gonna start over uh, Jared Russell. <laughs> you gonna have to. I mean, 91 speed. Give him a go. All right, linebacker, looking pretty good. Looking real good. Looking good, man. Linebacker court looking strong, boy. We looking strong. Now, these are my same two starting corners. We recording, right? Okay. <laughs> my same two starting corners from last year. You got Warrior and you got Blasson, who's an All-American now. Then you got Kaplan and Cooper. But, again, formation subs will play a big role in that. All right, so right here, the starter is going to be Hawkins. There's no way he's not starting right here. It's just not happening. James will back him up. Over here, uh, where's Wheeler at? It's going to be Wheeler. Then Wheeler and Dan Hampton. Dan Smith. Okay. All right, now I'm pretty sure my punter going to start at both of these. I just need to look at the kick power real quick. 96, let's go. 96 kick power. We don't get no better than that. <laughs> you feel me? All right, here we go. Kick return. Whew, here we go. So, maybe I might put Hawkins here. I don't know. Let's see. He got to have some actual, you see what I'm saying? You got to have some of this. Oh, I prefer you do. I ain't got no juke or no spin or nothing. Oh, I'm tripping. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Nobody taking burnt spot. <laughs> like, Brim's an absolute beast. We got all these fast people now, so I'm like, I'm losing my damn mind. And see, McCoy, 
I'm gonna put McCoy on uh, punt. There we go. All right, now formation subs. And I'm gonna still probably be messing with this throughout the season, but just for right now, there's a few things that I already know I'm gonna do. Well, how do you get the format team, team management? Yeah. Some things I already know I wanna do. For one, uh, defense. We go in our nickel 335 that we like to run so much. This guy right here, Kaplan, he's actually pretty good, but he got the, he, nah, just put it like that, nah. Not right now, okay? We gotta need somebody to hold that spot. And then we're gonna go back up here to Wheeler. And we're gonna take him. Why did I do that first? Should have took Wheeler out first. All right, I'll get it right. <laughs> I'll get it right, man. Yo, Kaplan is nice though, man. He at 82 is strong. With that 94 speed. And he got higher awareness than the actual strong safety. Hold that spot, Kaplan. Number nine might get right there, because I should have did that first. I don't know what I was thinking about. So, bam. Brandon Wheeler right here. Now, that's that rumor spot that Taylor Douglas was in last year. He's gone. So, I want Wheeler right there in the nickel so he can play a little bit closer to the line so he can make plays. You know what I'm saying? Now, I want to go back to Kaplan, who is, man, oh, that's a joke. I was about to say I want to go back to Kaplan and see. Do I want to put Hampton there? Or do I want to leave Kaplan? Ooh, a 92 awareness. Versus a 65. And the decision is made. <laughs> For a computer guy, pretty easy. All right, let's look at these linebackers real quick. Who is this? Morris, nice. Yeah, all right, yeah. They're all good to go. All right, so in, in this one, if I go in this two, four, five, I'm gonna actually let, uh, I'm gonna leave him there. I'm gonna leave Wheeler at strong in this spot right here. All right, so let's look at the uh, the dime. Uh, this one. Now in the dime, I really wanna do, I'm gonna leave him, I'm gonna leave Wheeler there for now. I'm gonna leave Dom how it is. I'm gonna just try that out in uh, nickel and see. Cause what's gonna happen is, depending on how the offense line up, I might play as the free or I might play as the strong. I normally don't do that, but I like, I really like Wheeler, but Ka um, not Kaplan, but Hawkins is just like a once in a lifetime type of player. So, <laughs> you feel me, I gotta play him. Um, so yeah. All right, now, we coming to flex bone. This should already be set up, all this stuff. Flex bond should be good. All right, Kareem Walker here. Kareem Walker there. So we'll put uh, McCoy in on that one. All right, Pistol. All right, Pistol strong. I actually, I actually want McCoy on in this play, man. I want McCoy right here. Where you at? Am I true? Oh, he already in. That's the problem. I don't know why he got him right there. We need to put, uh, well, I guess Sneak can get there. There you go. <sighs> no point in having uh, my other back, my real back in right there for what? He's just gonna get tired. Let him, we have some way he can get out and rest, you know? All right, so in trips, why? I'm gonna let Kareem be in everything else except this one. And then also, Trio Offset, this gotta be McCoy. That's gotta be McCoy. All right, um, there's one more I'm looking for. Yeah, Split Y. I just wanted to make sure that I was right. So you got both of them in on that. All right, cool. So that's money. Wildcat, I want McCoy. And you see me, if you don't know, most of y'all know, but you see me putting McCoy in on everything because, what the hell did you do? Because, uh, what's it called, is the starter. So, because he's the starter already, 
you, you're good to go. What am I doing, dog? All right, you get out, you get in. That's simple. All right, I think we straight here. So Kareem walking in on the majority of this stuff, but I got McCoy in on, uh, you know, in key situations, like big play type of uh, type of deal. So I think we good for now. We're going to leave it. But we're going to have to go and do some swag. And I haven't even jumped into recruiting yet, man. I don't know. I might have to break this down. This thing is hella long. I might just make recruiting its own episode. I probably will. <clears throat> because we got so many new players, but we got to swag them. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this dude is a pocket passer. Like, he's... You know he can throw when he... Uh, they call him a pocket passer. He got 86 speed, 91 excel. <laughs> That's money. All right, uh, do I want to change? I really don't like changing their numbers, man. I think I'm going to stop changing it unless it's like certain situations. Deshaun McCoy, I'm changing his number. Like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's changed, you feel me? Um, that's probably all I'm going to do. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. And you know what? I, honestly, I usually make everybody earn their swag anyway, huh? I ain't gonna lie, man. Deshaun McCoy, I am thinking about swag. All right, right? <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta get that. All right, I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna probably do. Uh, let's look at Hawkins again. Hawkins, number 38. Like, not gonna get full swag, but I'm not going out there with number 30. Up. 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 Let's go. Now, the rest of that is just him. So, you know what I'm saying? That's money. <laughs> all right, bro. Honestly, I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Any, uh, that's it. That's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. All right, man. Let's knock out the custom schedules real quick. <sighs> Come on, bro. Get out of here, dog. We'll open up with Alabama, Auburn, you got Baylor. Who the highest rated person y'all got? LSU, Miami, think, ooh, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I should probably pick an easier mark. I don't care, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we got like way too much going on right here. <clears throat> too, many, too many opens up here. Clemson, let's do it. Kansas, not happening. Uh, and let's play Auburn. I never play Auburn. Ooh, wee, this is a hard schedule, bro. This is a hard schedule. We're going to have to ball out. All right, bro, this is the preseason part one. I'm going to drop part two a little bit later in the day. This video is getting hella long. So the next episode is going to be preseason recruiting specifically and week one recruiting. All right, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll let you a little bit later. Flimlo raps. Wow.